我这。Hello, gorgeous. Oh, I'm standing up. <laughs> I'm gonna do logo number. Not forty one, fourteen, and then I'm gonna fill in some screens that I haven't finished for the design club because I need to work them all out, um, and then we can hand them over to the developer and hopefully get them all sorted. So let's start with the logo. This one comes from Tyler Fights Geraldo. Good morning. Thanks for taking the time to chat. Bookworm is a growing online bookstore, and we're looking to get a logo designed. I'm not really good at this kind of stuff. Oh. It's okay, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> so I don't know how much I can help I can be. We just want to see what you can come up with. We're pretty much open to anything, whether it be using a worm or not. We do need the text bookworm to be included, of course. Thanks! Exclamation, exclamation. Tyler fights Gerald bookworm tum. Okay, Tyler, 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 I'm sorry, I got your name. Uh, I'll get started right away. Let's go. Lego my ego. I. Wow, oh, sorry, I'm stretching. I went about this logo design a little bit differently. I wrote out a list of words first, did a little word scramble, and then I came across letters and page. So I wanted to make it a little bit. I, I had an idea, you know, how you make like a UI mock up where you represent text on a page with just like a series of squares or rounded bubbles. I really wanted to go with rounded bubbles in the beginning. And the idea here, hopefully you can see already, is that there would be three or four or five lines of letters, and then some of the letters would connect to create a worm. A worm. <laughs> it almost reminded me of the, you know, the old Nokia game Snake. Yes, it's like that, but with a worm. So um, I just made a lot of different versions of this idea. It's a very complex logo, but in some ways it's not that complex because none of the shapes touch each other. There's a lot of space between each. Around this time, I started to think, you know what? Is it really better if all the shapes are rounded, or would it be better if they were squarish? <laughs> so I really had a debate, and one thought was, what if all the letters were squarish, but the worm was rounded, so that there'd be even more emphasis on the fact that there's like a worm among the text? But I decided against that. Um, part of the part of me wanted to make it look more like a page, so I was thinking, well, a lot of people fold down the corner of a page so they can keep their spot. So I, I'm testing with that idea here, but I didn't come up with a good way to make it look like it was folded. It just kind of looked like it was that corner was cut off. So ultimately, I decided not to do that. Um, I added like a little bridge from the O to the O to make glasses, kind of. That's a very classic thing people do with bookworm logos. They have like a worm and then they put glasses on the worm. Why? Oh, because people wear glasses, read books. Judgy. <laughs> no. Okay, but uh, I don't know. This was this is the final logo. Okay, I finished the bookworm logo. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please leave a comment. <laughs> oh yeah, and if you forgot, this is a great time to hit the like button. Only if you like the video, though. Don't do it if you hate the video. If you hate the video, then I'm sorry. I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> okay, next up, I gotta finish some pages for the uh, online design club art week. I need to finish a couple pages in terms of like a couple screens you'll see while you're uploading your artwork or designs in progress, and then I need um, maybe another a screen or two for users signing up process. Um, and then I need a couple screens for like watching, watching stuff and commenting on things. <laughs> um, yeah, other than that, I think, I think actually there's not too many, just a few. Just a few, 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 few. And maybe, no, I'll probably mock up a better homepage later. A good landing page. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off this. Oh, that was loud, okay. Um, yeah, so that's what I need to do. We shall see how it goes. Okay, catch you later on your toes. <laughs>
Alrighty, McFlighty, I'm done with both projects today. Now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about the bookworm design in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you tomorrow. Stay awesome possum, and I'll see you later, alligator. Bye. Bye.